because what are we going because what we're doing because what we're <laughs> okay hello you all I'm back after a year well you can tell that this was a break so what we're doing today is an interaction video from Instagram here I ask you on Instagram to send me your most awkward moments you've ever lived and you send me some diamonds if you want your story to be in my next video make sure you go follow me on instagram it's going to be somewhere around here because i'll put stories on and i'll be asking you to send me your story like this awkward moments that i did and uh, we're going to make some good videos hopefully before we start make sure you subscribe because it's really 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 basic so i can keep going because i'll understand that you like what i do and second ring the bell that's how they say it the youtubers I don't know, do all this stuff, you know, you've heard that like a trillion times from different YouTubers. So, let's go to the video! If that wasn't the weirdest injury you've ever seen, you're lying. You're really lying. Also the background, I don't know if it's going to stay like that, hopefully not, because it's not really background, I'm just trying to make it work in the beginning, so don't complain, just focus on the video, and if it's stress as well, don't follow me. <laughs> Let's go straight to the first story, I'm going to be reading the stories from my phone, because you send them to me through Instagram and uh, I'm going to be translating some of them from Greek to English straight away. Don't judge me, Greek is my first language, so any mistakes, just forgive me, alright? So, let's go to the first story. The most awkward moment for me is when I went to get an abortion to save my life and the guy who got me pregnant blocked me after telling me he was sitting for two years. Awkward. Well, it's really awkward, but like, he might want it, that kid. It's not his choice though, it's your body, you can do whatever you want. It's really awkward how he reacted at all this. He might was in pain or something, because you you aborted the child and he wanted to hurt you as well. So yeah, hm. awkward. Let's go straight to the second story because the first one... Hmm. I was at the gym with my friend and we just finished our workout so we left to the lady room. There was one woman with us in the room and I didn't really notice her at first. So I started commenting on interior of the room because the whole team was sporty like of course and there was one big crystal chandelier in the ladies room. What I said were what kind of dumb idiot would put this cycle thing here? So when the lady went out, my friend turned to me and said, She's the owner of the gym. It happened to me before, so I will tell you, I'll tell you. She's continuing like, and that's what you get for speaking without being asked. That's true, that's true, it happened to me before. I will tell you at the end of this video, like literally, it's the most awkward moment you can possibly be, like saying something bad about something that somebody owns or something about somebody's sister and it's the person there. It's really, really awkward and I'm sorry for you and uh, rest in peace. <laughs> the reason that I'm doing this video, the awkward stories as a first video, is because I'm awkward as well and uh, you help me guys not to feel so awkward. A little bit the English, a little bit the first videos, you know. So let's go to the next story. Oh, I've read that. It's... <laughs> Alright, alright. First, I need to explain something from my culture so you can understand the story. In my country, when we do someone a favor or said something to them, and when they say thank you, as it's normal, our answer is you're welcome next time again. So, when my neighbor's mom passed away, we all know where this is going, right? I went to her with my mom to give our condolences, as I hugged her and said, my condolences to you and your family, she thanked me, and out of nowhere words came out of my mouth, as I said, you're welcome next time again. <laughs> Every single person in the room gave me suck gaze and then I realized what I've said. That was the worst feeling in my life, definitely. Like... I can't really imagine. It should be the look like, what? Like, what? How... What I would have done is I would have opened the door, walk outside, sit on the street and wait there until a car hits me. Like, it's my I don't, I don't want this life anymore. I like... I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry this happened to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. 
Next one, I'm a teacher, so one day in a school party I participated with my students in a game that in Paris you have to find some stuff to win a prize and it was a lie because they tricked me I'm mad at Disney, Disney to stay with one of my students just because he wanted to be with me and then I realized that he posted that we were on a date all my co-workers laughed because all figured it out but not me so I was the girl without knowing well, that is awkward, definitely it's awkward, but you could have a problem with your job, so I don't really find this entertaining. If your co-worker were in there, you easily could have a problem with it. If some teacher as well was watching this post, you would definitely be in trouble. So, you are lucky your co-workers were there. I know not really funny, in my head it was funnier, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopefully, edit will save my life. Let's go to the next one! When you go on a date after chatting to a fellow for about one week, when you see him, you instantly recognize that you have previously slept with him. He's aware of who you are, and you just have to pretend you knew who he was all along. I have so many questions. Like, how do you chat with someone you actually slept with, and you don't know you slept with? How is this possible? Did he have a glow up? Did he change that map? What happened? Please answer me because I'm curious. Then you have in your DMs, like, previous chats or something, so you can understand. Second of all, I can't imagine, like, your face when you saw him in real life, and you were like, Ugh. Bad choice, bad choice, bad choice. It should be fine if you had a good night that night, but if you didn't, I'm sorry about you and uh, I hope you feel better soon. Let's go to the next one. Oh, this is a short one. Thank you for sending me short ones because my English are crap. So let's go. Having a talk with my mom about people after she just found out I got broken up with. Ooh. I can feel that in my bones. I don't share with my family anything and when this happens and they try to have a serious talk about it, what I'm doing is like, no, please stop. And I'm just leaving the room, going in my room, sitting on my couch like that and doing that until I'm better. <laughs> you should try it, it doesn't help at all, but what do you have to lose? <laughs> All right! I was helping my dad to fix his car. We were waiting for a friend of his to come help. When the friend arrived, it turned out that was one of my grinder hookups and almost my sugar daddy. My dad and him were so close that he stayed for dinner and I went to die. Why did you even stay there? And uh... I don't have anything to say. I'll probably vote for the best awkward moment and the winner wins this coffee. I want you to comment your favorite story at the end of this video because you helped me trigger this algorithm of YouTube probably. If it is like TikTok or something, you'll probably help me a lot, so do that. I saw on TikTok you want some awkward stories. This is awkward and embarrassing, so get ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? In middle school, I walked outside to get into my mom's car. I get in, close the door, and fasten my seatbelt. I look over, and it's not my mom. It's some older man. I have never in my life run out of a car faster than that. And everyone saw it. Come to find out, the man was my crush's grandpa. One minute of silence for you. It happened to me before. Actually, it happened to me once, but it wasn't that bad. I just opened the door, sit it, and I saw it was somebody else. I said sorry and I left. But my sister, my beloved sister, keeps doing this all the time. And actually, we're making fun of her because of it. I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say about those, like opening the door, sitting in, fasten your seatbelt. Hi. You. It's not awkward for you, it's awkward for the person driving because imagine watching somebody opening your door, sitting in, fasten their seatbelts and looking at you like that, like, who are you? Like, are you okay, honey? Are you okay? And just wait to see what happens. It's that awkward seconds until they realize and you realize what's going on, you know? So, mm -mm. oh, this is really common. So, I was in a store 
when a guy came in and I thought he was talking to me but he was talking on his phone and he was gazing me with a really weird look. Name me one person, just one person that haven't done that. You can't. You can't. It's really, really awkward and you feel really, really, really stupid, but it's fine. People understand. Like, can you remember when AirPods came to life? Like, all the people were wearing just one AirPod and they were talking and you were from the other side of the AirPod, so you were not sure if they were talking to you, so you were answering and it was going on and... Like, just forget these and feel better about that. It happened to me like, I can tell you how many times. Next story, being one of many in the room and someone lets out the loudest fart next to me. You know, this reminds me of something. I was 14 in my class and the class was loud, everyone was making noise and everything. And I was laughing with a friend. So at this point I farted, but because I had a contrast, you know, it was really, really loud. At this moment, the teacher walked in. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. And everyone was quiet. Like, it was like, and everyone in my class heard the loudest fart I've ever done. So don't worry, at least it wasn't yours. <laughs> at this point, I want to say goodbye to my reputation that I tried so hard to get while I was making thirst traps on TikTok. Let's go to the next story and the last one. And she says, I had to translate between a Greek guy and a foreign girl who liked each other some very intimate stuff. Like one time I had to tell the guy that she was on her period and that she would only give him a VG. <laughs> Honestly, that story of my life, because I used to work seasonally in Eos Island in Greece, as I've said, so I only had to speak English, and not all Greeks knew English, so sometimes I had to translate some stuff. And it's not fun, it's not fun. At first, first of all, it's annoying, like, you can't really translate everything. If you can't communicate, I don't want to translate for you. I, I don't want to. It's fine for a little bit, but if you like each other, just go have it or don't. So, before I proceed to my story, I want to give the award and the coffee to the best story of today. Are you ready? And the winner is... She went to a funeral of her neighbor and said to the family, next time again. If you want this coffee? Just DM me with where to send it and everything. Let's proceed to my story. I was in a school that they were teaching me English, so my teacher was a really, really loving lady and I really loved her. At the same time, when I was studying English and everything, I was working in a cafe. I had a customer that was really, really weird. Let me say that the owner of the school was my teacher. And the dude that he was weird, he was also a teacher, but I didn't know specifically what he was teaching. At some point, I was in the class with my classmates. They were teaching me stuff. So this dude just opens the door. I'm in shock, like, what is he doing here? He says something to my teacher and he leaves. As soon as he leaves, I said to my teacher, he's a really, really weird kid. It was her son. Don't judge anyone, guys. You never, ever know whose son is it? But generally, don't judge anyone, I'm just joking. So guys, thank you very much for watching my first video. Actually, my second, but my first, because I just started and blah, 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 blah. And thank you so much for watching my video. Hopefully, you'll find me on Instagram. You will follow me if you want to. Just go in my stories, check every day my stories, because I will probably post something else. We're going to do a lot of interacting stuff here, so if you want to go follow me. I have TikTok as well, it's going to be at the outro with my Instagram and everything. Thank you so much for supporting me, it means the world to me, and I'm doing it for you and for me and for all of us to be happy. Hopefully, I will keep making videos because I love YouTube, I will love the, the whole process of editing, posting, watching your comments, and that's it. Thank you very much. I love you all. Bye.